Hello ladies and gentlemen, Hollow here, and we are on the Master Chief Collection today because we are gonna talk about a brand new leak slash rumor that has apparently been circulating the internet recently. It started on 4chan, made its way onto the Halo subreddit, but was actually taken down for whatever reason, which normally when they do that, there's some there's some truth to whatever was posted, so I guess we're gonna we're gonna see come E3. I really wanted that BR, my man. So you're kind of a poop face, but whatever. But we're gonna see at E3 what Halo, Microsoft, and 343 have up their sleeve. And hopefully, we're blown away. So the leak slash rumor details what the next Halo will actually be called, which apparently is Genesis. That could honestly be a working title. I think it might be because that's kind of a really lame name for the next Halo. You know entry into the franchise halo genesis bleh. but they say that it is basically going to be a reboot now is that going to be a reboot of the story a reboot of the gameplay mechanics i know a lot of people especially myself want halo to go back to the classic movement system instead of all this advanced mobility bull stuff that we have right now because sprint and all that other stuff honestly doesn't really belong in the halo franchise genesis could mean you know they they start at the beginning of the covenant war um Maybe it's just a... Uh, oh, wow. Oh, I think I killed myself. No, I got betrayed by Rattan Joker. But a reboot could mean that they're going to go back to the old gameplay style. A reboot could mean, you know, a reboot of the story. Um, maybe Halo 5 basically didn't happen and it was all a fever dream for the Master Chief. And he just wakes up and is like, oh, hey, none of that actually happened. Gotcha. Genesis is also a mission in uh, Halo 5, so we can actually see that as a uh, continuation of Halo's storyline, which would make sense. I could see that. They might also ease into it, and this could be like Halo Reach or ODST, where it's basically its own standalone game. Um, my dude, what is you doing? Oh, you're better than me, actually. There we go. It could actually be its own standalone game. Yo, this kid is crazy good! Yo, he almost killed me. I can't imagine that 343 and Microsoft want to make people wait a whole nother year after it's already been, you know, over three for the next Halo game. Master Chief Collection is getting fixed, and I think that that's a good sign that something is coming sooner rather than later. I think they want to build a bunch of hype up by using the Master Chief Collection as like, hey, we fixed this, we did good. You guys should come buy our new game now. I really honestly think that's what we're seeing. I absolutely do not believe that Microsoft is going to make people wait a whole nother year for the next Halo game in the franchise after, you know, basically it's already been three years. The Halo, oh my gosh, the Halo World Championship just happened. Halo Online is a, a huge hot topic in the community right now. Master Chief Collection is getting fixed. I think that something big is going to happen. I think we're going to get the beta in the summer and then the release of the actual game in the fall. That's what I truly believe is happening. As always, guys, let me know your thoughts down below. If you think that that's what is going to happen, my man is right here. Good job, everybody. Oh, he's not dead. Let me know your opinions in the comments down below what you think is going to actually happen after E3. If you think we're going to get the beta this year and the full game, I hope so. I, I just can't. I If Halo waits a whole nother year to release something official, not talking about Halo Online or anything like that, but to release something official, I think that that really, really, really impacts the franchise in a negative way. What I am really excited for is to see Halo 6, Genesis, whatever it's going to be called on PC. I think that that is the future of the Halo franchise. It's really going to get back to its roots on the PC. I think that that's important in today's age for a game to be successful. And then maybe, you know, the whole Halo competitive community grows, you know, back to where it was. The game is winding down. If you guys can, leave a like down below because it really helps the channel grow. I would greatly appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Go ahead and knock that guy out in the back. Actually, you know what? There's only three kills left. Stick around. We're about to go off right here. Montage. Montage. Yeah, there it is. That's the last kill. This guy's mean. No. Absolutely not. We got an achievement unlock. That's it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.